Okay, here's Tuesday. Okay. In your note packet, okay, in your note packet, find these problems here. Write it in a coy that describes a situation. Prices for rides start at $19.99 and so forth. Now, you don't need that because you're done graphing, okay? But you do need this sheet here. So there were four sheets yesterday. You want to find this sheet here. And we actually want to be on the other side. So I've circled the word start at, okay? So start at, you want to put your variable first. R is what they want you to use. And then the value is $19.99. Start at, okay, starting at would be greater than or equal to. That's it. Okay, the speed limit on the interstate is 75 miles per hour. So I put S first, then the, I usually put the variable first, then the number. I would do that. Limit, though, limit is less than or equal to. Because 75 would be the, the fastest you'd be able to travel. Okay, a person must be at least 35 years old to be elected president of the United States. So put your variable and then the value, and then at least would be greater than or equal to. Every object on Earth travels less than 186,000 miles per second. So less than, less than would just be the symbol without the bar. Put your variable, and then your value, 186,000. Okay. So, basically, to make a long story short, when you can't go over the value, the sign will eat the value. When you can go over the value, okay, like starting at, I'd go over it, then it eats the variable. Okay, I want you to pause the video and do 17, 18, 19 on that packet from yesterday. Okay. Okay, now here's the next set of problems. Kind of doing the same thing. Now, I want you to get on this sheet, please. And I want you to add a couple words here, okay? Underneath the greater than or equal to, I want you to write the word goal, because that's another one. You, when you set a goal, you can be equal to the goal, or you can go greater than the goal. And then another thing under the lesson, I want you to put have, because if I have a certain amount of money, I can, be, I can spend something equal to it or less than it. Okay, so have and go are two words that are going to be coming up. So, it says, my goal is to earn $300 selling cookies and donuts. Cookies cost 50 cents each, C. Donuts are 75 cents each, D. Write an inequality to represent my goal. So the word goal, okay, goal I use a greater than or equal to symbol. What's my goal? My goal is $300. Put your $300 on that side and cross it out. Now, how are we going to meet this goal? Well, we're going to sell cookies. Cookies cost $0.50. Cents. But we're going to be selling more than one cookie, I hope. I don't know how many times I make $0.50, cents, so I put times.c. Plus, I think I'm going to be selling something else. Donuts for $0.75 cents each. So, I hope I sell more than one donut. So, that's multiplied. We don't know how many we're going to sell by D. And that's it. Okay. Next problem. My goal is to earn $1,000 selling t-shirts and hoodies. T-shirts cost $9.99 each. Hoodies are $20 each. Write an inequality to represent my goal. So there's that word goal, okay? That's the symbol we use to represent a goal. Goal is $1,000. Now 
Now, what money amounts are going to help us make $1,000? Well, nine ninety nine, but I'm obviously going to sell more than one of those, so it's T-shirts, so times capital T. Don't use lowercase t. It looks like a plus. Plus, and then hoodies are $20 each, so that would be 20 times H. Okay, there you go. Pause the video, go into your assignment packet, do number 20. Okay, then the last one. I forgot to give you the variables for these, some of these, I'm sorry. Put an X above pounds and a Y above people, please. Okay. Five pounds of pasta salad serves 14 people. We have 17.5 pounds of salad. Write an inequality and also circle that word have. Okay, I want that circled. Write an inequality that represents how many people we can serve with what we have. Okay, so put people down here in the corner. That's what we're finding. And put variable P. Okay, have means you can't go over it. Okay, so have means we use the less than or equal to symbol. So that's what they mean. we got to solve the problem, but we need to write it in the form of an inequality. Okay? Now what value? Well, I don't know. So I'm going to use my boxes to figure this out. So pounds and people. Now remember, I have put X is pounds, Y is people. So when it's per, it's always the Y unit, people, per X unit, pound. Now, they didn't give us the, any pers or each or any of that stuff. So question marks. So then I go out here and make a table. So pounds is X and people is Y. Okay. Now, put a zero, but don't go one, two. When you don't have this, you need to block it off. So 5 pounds, 14 people, though that's a pair, okay? And then 17.5 pounds, and I don't know how many people that is, so that's a question mark, okay? Just put P. Now, if you have 0 pounds, how many people are going to eat? 0, okay? So that means I use my proportions. Remember, the X goes on bottom, so pounds is on bottom. Pounds, pounds. The Y unit's on top. People and people. Okay, so 5 pounds, 14 people. That's a pair. 17.5 pounds and P people. That's a pair. Well, we can just cross multiply and divide because I know 14 times 17.5 is equal to 5 times P. So 14 times 17.5, 245, and that's equal to 5 times P. So if I divide by 5, I get 49. Okay, fill that in. Okay, next one. I kind of didn't give you the variables here. Centerpieces is X, roses is Y. Now you got to keep watching the video because on the one assigned problem I'll tell you what X and Y are. Okay. And also you need to circle the word have. Okay. A florist is making centerpieces. Five centerpieces require 24 roses. We have 96 roses. Write an inequality for how many centerpieces we can make. Okay. So centerpieces is the answer. And to write an inequality, you put C, and then how you have means it's less than or equal. Okay? Because again, have means we can't go over it. So to find what value goes there, well then I'm going to make my graphic organizers. So centerpieces and roses. Okay, so X is centerpieces, Y is roses. So per, remember, roses on top, roses per centerpiece, just to abbreviate. We do not have that rate at this time, so I go ahead and make a table. 
So centerpiece is X, you can just put CP, roses is Y. Okay, so zero block it. Five centerpieces, 24 roses. Those are together. 96 roses, and just put C for centerpieces. We don't have that. That's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, now if you have zero centerpieces, then you wouldn't need any roses. So zero, zero. The zeros mean don't make the line. Use your proportions. Okay. Remember, y, the Y label belongs on top. So roses, roses. The X label on bottom. So, five centerpieces goes with 24 roses. C centerpieces, because I don't have that, but I know it goes with 96 roses. So I cross multiply and divide. Okay? Five times 96, and remember that equals 24 times C, so I divide by 24 and I get 20. Okay? Now, last problem on your assignment, I'm going to help you out a little bit. X is cups, Y is muffins. Number 21, X is cups, Y is muffins. Circle the word have, that tells you the symbol you use, and you're finding muffins, okay? So M, remember what have means less than or equal.